Guys, we're back. Put my jacket on the ground. I was making a weird bunch. Got our candy out and ready for trick or treaters, and it's where I can watch it. Cause... Uh. There it goes. Our in laws have decorations and stuff, and he wants to go see them, but. Somebody in their house isn't feeling well, so to... We gotta get off this damn ship. Oh. No shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. Don't risk bringing anything home to me. Not actually going inside. And I'm staying home to hang out with you guys. I know it sounds crazy, but... Maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. I do want to find all the secrets for this one. I think it's shorter than Until Dawn. Even though I screwed it up, it's more forgiving, I guess. In the sense that it won't take as long to do it. Is that something you guys want to see? Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. So they shot their own lifeboats. Or did the plane shoot the lifeboats? That must be the way we need to go. Let's make sure there's nothing back here. Anything. I use a pillow for this thing for back support, but it's somehow managed to get it all cockeyed. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. I'm gonna let my little helper come along. Oh, yeah. He wouldn't have been trying to steal our mouse and unplug the controller. Guest mask instructions. Always ensure your mask is fitted before assisted anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, not panic, remain calm, and clearly shout gas, gas, gas to warn anyone in the vicinity. Hold your breath. Touch the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. Put the belt around your waist. Remove the helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with both hands. Put your chin inside the mask first. Then put the mask over your face and the harness straps over your head. To remove any potentially trapped gas, close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply. Then push any remaining air out of the mask with your hands. Check for leaks by tightly squeezing flexible. Corrugated hose with your hand and inhaling the mask should crumple around your face. If the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug and repeat the process button until the mask crumbles to ensure there are no leaks. Would you live long enough if you skirted it up the first time? Since you're waiting till somebody starts yelling gas, gas, gas. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. I think we've definitely established I am no good at the replacement keep call minigame. So, uh, I 
I should just try to avoid any scenario where I have to do that. So it looks like everybody came up with us. Which is good. Okay, nothing apparently hidden over here. Thought there might have been something like on the ground, but apparently not. Oh, I think we're about ready to discover Conrad. This is where I chased Conrad before. Wait, was she? Is this the one that was appearing as the one lady? Over here! Got a way through here. I'm probably gonna mess this up the first time because I didn't realize it was the mash the button time. Let me see what I can do. <clears throat> oh, good. We don't have to try again. Brad has the secret muscles. I don't see any. Secret logbook. There we go. Exciting. Last log shows me caught in a storm. Ice fall from the west, which 20 feet, no damage reported. PM weather continues to deteriorate as does forecast crew bearing up. AM wind at storm force, gaining strength. Weather is exceptional with several lightning strikes hitting OM but causing no sustained damage. We are leaking some water but is under control. Navigator port C bad bed depth readable. So that's the storm that took out the chains for entering gold. Okay. Aha, picture. So the other Kidnapper. Find the radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. Not exactly confident about our chances of survivors. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean. See the X. There we go. It's a blank piece of paper. Uh, ship was blown off course. Cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. So they got lost. On their weird secretive route. Well, we found radio guy. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Made a call broadcast for radio contact in a minute, attempting Morris SOS, many crew dead. Sounds pretty desperate. 
Seems like he knew he was done for. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Look, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power, I'll give it a whirl. Why is the one that's not used to it? Ah, it's working! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Holy shit! We got him! Uh... If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately, uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please, get here now! We need help! We're on a freighter, a bandit, huge and old. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in! And the power line. Hey! Come here, look! Is that Connor? Conrad? This has got to lead somewhere. Nope. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. What is... So what hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. What an odd combo. I wonder if that changed to Conrad and made it. Did, did they just die? Did... No, Brad survived. Okay, they both survived. Any broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. What's the lighter for? Hey. After you. Oh, there's a random thing down here. Sorry, I got... Distracted by the first trick or treaters coming up. The only candy we could find was sweet tarts, but it was a younger group coming and they were very excited about them. So I'm glad at least somebody appreciates the candy we were able to find at the last minute. Because they weren't sure if they were doing anything here. Our subdivision originally was debating doing um like a trunk or treat thing on there when to supply stuff and then they changed their mind. 
Pax. Matthew says, can we truly learn for the same thing the Western world must be protected from? The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents. More for our act, grouped by the Geneva Protocol, have experiments we've been able to describe some investigation during to test the effects on human subjects of the molecule crystal structure, hallucinogens, coding, mature, and gold chemical mutations battle. It was even relatively minor, observed to trigger significant hallucinations, men highly convincing subjects seeing and hearing things that really were not there even. The danger was manifold in its intensity. So is that saying the U.S. made it? Or that we just found it, I wonder. 